Okay, we're here at, with a beautiful 55 T-Bird. It's going to be our last car of the night. This is Robert's car, as you can see. He has all the documentation. It's a family-owned original car, original paint, original drivetrain. Robert, tell me about your car. Ah, 1955 Thunderbird. My father, uh, Bob, bought brand new in 1955. Um, he's actually the original owner. He bought it as a uh, an opportunity to have a uh, business write-off, so he bought the car for the, um, the business that we had, Bennett, Bennett Architects, and it was uh, registered as a business car for 30-some-odd years. Um, he drove it semi as a daily driver back and forth to uh, work all the time. Um, he was an architect in the Pasadena area, um, worked on the Rose Bowl, the Coliseum, built the uh, Pasadena Civic Auditorium. Uh, built numerous banks, all sorts of things. So this car's been around the, the San it's Gabriel, been San Fernando Valley for yes, it has. its original life. A California-based car. It has been to Mexico once or twice, right when it, when it was new. Right. Other than that, it's been based in California its entire life. Where was it bought at? It was bought at Holmes Tuttle Ford over on Beverly and La Brea, I think, in L.A. Very nice. That was a prestigious dealership back in the day. Yes, it was. Must have been a real I've got fun a, buy. a piece of paper over there that'll document that. Oh, really, really. Yeah. So, and uh, you haven't rebuilt the engine? No, I haven't rebuilt the engine at all. Interior's all original. Interior's all original. Paint. So I guess it's been a garage car. It's been a been a. Oh yes, definitely. It's been a garage car. When I was a young kid, I used to sit in my dad's lap and help drive this into the garage at night. <laughs> Another u unique thing when I came time for me to take my driver's test to get my driver's license, um, it, I was always told in driver's ed program that if I could locate an automatic car taking your driver's test in an automatic versus a standard transmission, it was the best thing to do. Right. Because automatics are a lot easier to handle. Sure, sure. So I got permission from Papa to allow me to take my driver's test in this very car. Wow, and what year was that? That was back in, in 1975. Nice. I bet you the instructor back then in the day must have liked riding around a car like that. Oh, he was just amazed. <laughs> he was like... You passed right off. Oh, yeah. His right. mouth fell open. He was like, I can't believe I'm giving my instructional test in a classic Thunderbird. That's very nice. He couldn't believe it. Well, Robert, you have a great car and a great story. Thanks for hanging out and talking to us tonight in live car shows. We really appreciate your time and check us out online. Oh, I will. Okay, Robert, thank, thank you. You, you bet. Feel free to look at the documentation. We will, thanks.